And it brings up Aaron Shipman. This is a chance for Aaron Shipman to deliver late in the game. One ball, two strikes. Bottom of the tenth inning. This game tied two to two. Jamison, the runner at first. He has good speed. So does the guy at the plate. The one-two pitch to Shipman. Breaking ball way outside, taken for a ball. The A's actually wanted Aaron Shipman to work on his aggressiveness at the plate. Obviously, with all those walks last year, at least that walk-to-strikeout ratio, Shipman has proven he can be as patient as he needs to be at the plate. The A's don't want him to be passive either. And it looks like they might call a balk on the pitcher, Brandon Kreff. Well, that gets Sean Jamison into scoring position. Kreff is acting like it's no big deal, but it completely changes the situation. A base hit scores the winning run, the winning run in scoring position. Here we are with Aaron Shipman at the plate. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, runner at second. Game tied 2-2 two to two in the bottom of the tenth. Kreff comes set. Checks his runner, the 2-2 pitch. Lined into center field, Martini, excuse me, I should say Hill went after it. He has to dive, he won't grab it. And the winning run will cross the plate. The Bees win, the Bees win, the Bees have won it in extra innings. Virgil Hill playing center field for Nick Martini. And he committed the cardinal sin as an outfielder. He stepped in instead of stepping back. That ball lined straight back up the middle, had more carry to it than Virgil Hill thought. It got over his head. He tried to give a dive for it, and he couldn't grab it. Sean Jamison scores easily, and the Bees win it. And that buck comes back to haunt Brandon Kreff. We'll get into all that and much more in the Bob Dodds postgame show. Before we get into that, though, want to mention, 3-2, to two, the final score in game one of this doubleheader. And it took extra innings, not just more than seven innings. It was a walk-off win in the bottom of the tenth. Aaron Shipman, the hero in game one. We'll find out who the hero is in game two. Don't go away. You're listening to Bees Baseball on News Radio 1490 KBUR and KBUR.com.